Oh my god, Castle, did you hear? Persona 3 Reload has basically an entirely new voice cast. Oh my god. Ain't no way. I, I, I think it's funny. I think when it came out, there was a huge discussion of, are they going to use old audio? Are they going to use new audio? And then, like, I think 24 hours after that, they were like, new audio. Yeah, they it, just it, they it, just it. dropped the whole cast. I, I, I guess, to be fair, the most important info in terms of the remake was the information about what content was going to come to it. Yeah. And uh, did you actually not scripted? Did you hear that they uh, did confirm some FES content is coming to the yes. remix? That's very good. I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah, I would have been devastated if we lost the like the Elizabeth dates because that stuff is like peak fiction. It's it's it makes me believe that you know death is okay because if I can experience <laughs> that, then I don't really I don't I've, I've peaked as a human. But uh, we're here to talk about voice actors. Yes, I always like doing these. I try to do whenever there's like a new Persona game or kind of a new sort of a recasting goes on. I like to talk about who's doing like the voices in these new games. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm a big proponent for voice acting. As soon as I saw that, that that was up there, I immediately jumped on the shark to ask you if, if I could uh, join this one. Well, I'm a big proponent for views, so this works out pretty well. <laughs> Great, I'm glad we I'm glad we can facilitate each other's uh, desires for attention. Yeah. So I think we should talk a little bit about the original cast. Kind of sure. like get our. I don't, I don't think you've ever talked about your feelings on them as voice actors. Uh, I, I might have mentioned it a couple of times, but I, I've never done, like, a video dedicated to it, no. They, I think that they've all become very great voice actors in the, oh my god, 10, has it been, like, 15 years since that game came out? Yes. 2000... Persona 3 came out in 2006. <laughs> oh god, that's 17 years. Yeah, you're old, you're that, old. That's enough time for anyone to really blossom or to decide they don't even want to be a voice actor anymore. Yeah. I, I think that everyone there is fantastic. Maybe that their first role in the game wasn't their best. I, I can think of a few instances in, in the base game where some lines got read really poorly. Yeah, I think but, that was back when uh, kind of like voice direction, especially for video games, wasn't as tight. It was that a lot is more true. Kind of like a sort of slapdash production a lot of the times. There was a very big paradigm shift for sure. So yeah. I, I'm not I'm, I would not hold it against uh, any of them. Yeah. And I would say, like, even considering the fact that, you know, a lot of them were still kind of new to the scene, I still feel like that cast is, like, pretty iconic, right? I, I mean, for I think for a lot of people, unless they actively went out and searched for the Japanese release of Persona 3, yeah. like, be it the anime or whatnot, that those characters were vo those voices. Because I think, didn't everyone reprise their role for the entirety of, like, any time P3 um... came back? Most of them did. I know, like, Fuka's VA was replaced. I think there was probably a couple of other replacements, but I think ah, okay. most of them did stick to the same people for a while. I mean, uh, a few of them were pretty much uh, guaranteed. Like, I don't think Michelle Ruff was ever going to turn down coming back as Yukari, since she's pretty prominent in the voice acting scene. Yeah. We speak about uh, Fuka and uh, Kim. Yeah. Or we speak about Fuka. We mentioned that... Uh, Paula Sisso and Cindy Robinson, they weren't even credited when uh, when that game first came out. Yeah, for a while it was kind of like a mystery who is even the voice of Fuka, because she was just not credited. That really only leaves Akihiko and Mitsuru. I guess Yuri Lowenthal is the protagonist, but he didn't really get any chances to voice that character yeah, in the extreme Yeah, he like, really only says the Persona's names and maybe like a couple other things. It's it's funny because like there are, there are instances where he should be able to voice that character, but Persona 3 never got as much dubbed media as Persona 4, so he's more known as, as uh, Yosuke. Yeah. But uh, I liked, uh, I liked, I, I really liked Tara Plot's performance as Mitsuru. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she was I, really I, good. I, I think that was like perfect casting in terms of voice performance, and I think that uh, all of these all of these actors will be greatly missed. I'm sure I'm sure some of them will continue to do things in the future. I don't think any of them are. I don't think the majority of them are done voice acting, but I it, you know it, it's we're, we're we're really seeing a passing of the old kings, if if you will. Yeah, I, I don't know how much you want to get into kind of like the why behind this is happening, but. I figure it's something that's worth talking about because that you gotta admit that is kind of weird to have like this pretty established cast of characters that like have voices people are familiar with and just totally like redo the whole thing. It's it's definitely a questionable decision. Like, for, I think out of most franchises, the ones that have always been very equipped to like do callbacks was Persona. 
Yeah. Because even the even before we had games like Cube and Arena, characters would cameo in previous games. So you'd want to keep a consistent world going. I guess since this is a remake, there is an excuse that like, oh, I mean, well, we're starting fresh. This is like this is this is new. We can we can you know wipe the board clean. It. I feel like it kind of might lend uh, credence to that theory about Persona 3 Reload being a, uh, a, a Final Fantasy VII style remake. Mm -hmm. If they're going for a whole new set of light, if, if they want you to completely shift your voice actor paradigm. Uh, interestingly enough, of the people that have been like revealed here, Elizabeth wasn't revealed, Igor wasn't revealed, mm -hmm. and uh, Ryoji wasn't revealed either. Like those, We don't know who was going to play those characters at all. Yeah, like, we, we'll probably get that closer to the release. Like, for all we know, they might not have even cast those people yet. This, is, this is, game's not coming out for another, like, eight months. That is true. And this is basically the party, barring Korobaru. Yeah. Who, I, 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 I Hey, what the I fuck? Who's doing, who's doing the voice of Korobaru? Probably a very blessed <laughs> ADB guy. <laughs> <laughs> probably a dog. They get an actual dog. <laughs> <laughs> they get, like, a stock dog sound effect. Yeah. Cormoro voiced by Stock Dog. What if they uh what if they get like what if they blow their entire budget on a voice for Cormoro? They get like uh the voice of Sonic from the movies. Yeah. What's who is that uh Ben Shorts, that's who it is. Yeah. We wanted to take some time to look through these current voice actors that we know of, kind of get an idea of what they're going to sound like. Maybe try and pick pick our brains about what their performance and direction will be. And we're not really going to go for like the, oh, I hate this or, oh, this is worse or better. Uh, I think we're both pretty fair of the idea of that these characters, these actors deserve a fair shot before we judge how we feel about them. Yeah. Also, before we get into this, I wanted to say like for anybody who's kind of upset about the recast, just don't send these guys any crap. That's like super not cool. <laughs> oh, and uh, I actually wanted to slide that in, but I didn't know like how to how to segue it better. Yeah. Like absolutely, like at the end of the day, this is this is a job. This is just something that they have been hired to do. They, it's not, it's not the end of the world if these characters, even if if like the if they get like a poor direction and the role isn't that great, it's not going to be the they're, they're probably going to come back and get more chances to sound better. Like just like like Nick said. It's not worth harassing them over because they don't deserve that. Like, yeah, it's like just... these are it's just people on the grind trying to make that money. It was it wasn't like Ex there was there was an evil plot afoot where they're like, <laughs> all right, all right, Yuri Lowenthal, you fucker. It was like actually I saw Alex Lee uh, posted a tweet saying that Yuri like gave him a hug and congratulated him. So at, at least for really Alex fun. Lee and Yuri, like they're they're totally cool. So wait a minute, was he wearing the symbiote shirt when that happened? <laughs> Because he might have passed on something nasty to Alex Lee oh, if he did man. that. I, 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 on the topic of like the uh, like evil plans. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you watch uh, stream number five thousand three hundred sixty nine, uh, Kagi Films does say that uh, I'm going to be bad Akihiko. I'm going to do bad job and, <laughs> yes. and ruin the character and get Persona three canceled. <laughs> evil Akihiko. <laughs> this is the Kagi dark art. Yeah, dark Kagi. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's start off with Alex. All right, let's let's check him out. So I actually like this guy. Uh, oh, Alex yeah. Lee does a lot of like funny, kind of like shit posty stuff on his channel. Yeah, and uh, I wait, he has a channel. Yeah, I did not I did not know that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I, only, I, I only know him from his voice acting career. Yeah, no, he's a funny guy. He seems like uh, he has like kind of zoomer energy, right? <laughs> like he's he's uh, made his breakthrough or whatever from just doing like weird kind of voice acting sort of fun stuff. All right. So he's, uh, he's hip with the kids, as they say. Ah, dang. So he's perfect to play the, the self-insert for all of the children. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that right there he's playing Luke in the recent Street yeah, Fighter 6. Yeah, he's Luke in uh, Street Fighter 6. How does that, how does that, have you played Luke at all or heard anything from him? Yeah, I actually really like the way he voices Luke. He puts a lot of kind of like energy into the character. Like we'll see uh, as we go down, he does kind of have a range of voices where he could be like a real hype man sort of character like Luke. But... I don't know. The thing about Makoto is that in the grand scheme of things, he really doesn't say all that much. Yeah, I mean, I imagine if this is going to be a Persona 5, Persona 3 like game, yeah, that he'll have more voice lines like when he takes actions or does something. Like, because they have more room to put in like little sound effects like that. Yeah. But he is going to have very few speaking lines for sure. And that's why uh, when I was digging through his voice list, 
I wanted to find characters who were more monotone in their delivery. And uh, the one that I heard, I heard, and I immediately went, uh, this is like the perfect, th this is like, I, I want this guy voicing Minato. Yeah, this is our duel. Was, uh, was the vo when he played Manjiro in uh, Tokyo Revengers. Uh-huh. Uh, he does a really good kind of like reserved, uh, quiet voice. At first, I was really nervous because he plays uh, Zenitsu as well, and Zenitsu is uh, anything but quiet. Yeah. He is very loud and uh, very screamy. But no, yeah, he has such a vocal range. I was I was startled to find out that these were the same voice actors. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can kind of go through. Uh, stop me if you see any, see any notable roles. Like, obviously, we haven't all seen the same stuff, but... He's Egg the... sandwich! What the hell?! Oh my god, oh, I love shit. that. Let's see, here's an uh, sandwich. No. I don't I don't really <laughs> like the I don't really like the taste of eggs all that much. Oh no no I understand. Yeah, I, I I don't really I liked it on uh, this is not what we're talking about. Yeah. Sorry, I did not mean to, to take this seriously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I got egg podcast. Uh let's see, he was in he was, he was Shinji and Ukitaki in oh, the new bleach anime. Oh he was Gamma One. And Dragon Ball Super, oh, Superhero. So, I actually don't remember Gamma 1's performance all that much. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie, Gamma 2 kind of stole the show with yeah. that. But... Yeah, Gamma 1 was the more, uh, like, serious one, right? Yeah, he's the one that, uh... Yeah, I won't go. I don't want to spoil superheroes for anyone that hasn't seen it, so... Yeah. But, yeah, he was he was the more uh, quiet one. Yeah. Actually, now that you say that, I'm remembering... Yeah, that's... He had a very... He had, a, like, a gruff, serious voice to him. Yeah. I, I saw that he had a... Uh, played Leon in a few things, but I actually haven't seen Pokemon Evolutions. I'm only familiar with Kagi's performance as Leon. Mm -hmm. Damn, we got two Leons in this game? Oh yeah, no. This, oh, is, uh, this is champion, champion shit. <laughs> so it's a real championship. Yeah, there he is <laughs> as uh, Mikey. Yeah, Avengers. Mikey, Mikey. Uh, I, I I enclosed a clip on the in the in the chat. Okay. That'll, uh, we can give that a, a listen to. Uh, oh, he played, he ha he was a default voice in Monster Hunter Rise. Yo. You probably heard him say, Hit! or, oh, I got him! <laughs> I, uh, I feel like this is going to slowly reveal that you and I don't watch a lot of anime. Yeah. I mean, I think it's more a thing that it's, it, there's just so much of it, right? Like, I, haven't, I don't watch every anime ever made. It, it is, it is nice to see that he has such a diverse portfolio. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's been in a lot of shit. Uh, as we're gonna find out with some later ones, that is not going to be the case, so this is very handy to see that, it, like, the more I see this, the more confident I am in their ability to work in, in situations where they might get, like, bad direction. Yeah. Which, that's really what I'm worried about when it comes to these performances, is, like, how much time and money is Atlas going to actually put into g good ADV? Uh, yo, he was Mario Zucchero in JoJo Golden Win? I watched Golden Wind's dub, and I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> That's fine. This is a very minor side character who shows up I in, mean, like, I mean, one fight. This is, this is the guy that was very, that was, like, he got strung up for the torture. Yeah, he's, the, he's the, the, torture the guy that, guy. the torture head, yeah. The torture head! <laughs> you know what? I did just remember something. Uh... I remember that uh, the dub completely butchered uh, one of those lines. Because uh, in the original, it's like uh, Mista is like mockingly, like prompting Zucchero to spill the beans, right? Yeah. And he's like, uh, I'd start speaking if I were you, because if you don't, it's going to get worse. And he, and, he rhy and he rhymes Zucchero with the last thing he just said. And in the dub, it's like, I'd start spilling your guts if I were you, because if not, things are about to get worse for you, you fucking sack of piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just like, Mista, that's not you. So here, yeah, here, here he is as a. Uh, I guess that was one of his first uh, like roles. Really, was Luke that's, back in Street Fighter not, Five. That's not the same Luke, is it? No, that's the same guy in Street Fighter Five. He just looked fucking ugly as shit. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'll be. I, I tried Street Fighter Five a little bit. Uh huh. I really didn't like it. I did. I, I liked. I liked Street Fighter uh, Third Strike. That was my favorite one I played. Yeah. Then I enjoyed a little bit of four, and I hated five. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm just gonna I pretend bought... like that didn't happen. Yeah, I bought five to play as Rainbow Mika, and just never really played it all that much. Dude, we would not be friends if I fought you and you Rainbow Mika me. That that character yeah. makes me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Rainbow Mika? What do you not like? Ass. Oh, I love ass. Like that's the thing. Yeah, like, okay, I, I'm that's not. What they all I, say. I'm, 
I'm mad at losing, but I'm mad it's not me in that ring right now. <laughs> what the fuck? I wish I was the character. <laughs> Just the Yugi, like, it should have been me! But uh, I think that's... I think that's good. I think, uh... Why don't we give a listen to the Manjiro clip and we can uh, cap off Alex Lee? Because oh, I think we're sure. both pretty positive on his performance. Yeah. You're really in middle school? Yeah. Takemichi, starting today, we're friends, yeah? Are you the one running these matches? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? Let's, uh, let's move to our next character, then. All right. Next let's up check him is... Out. Uh, Heather Gonzalez as Yukari Takeba. Yes. Now, uh, this one was interesting because I've actually, uh, also scroll down. That's a, that's a Tears of the Kingdom spoiler. Oh, is <laughs> you it? Should probably, you should probably oh, blur that all right, out. Well, there, there will be a big black <laughs> box around. <laughs> I, I don't even know who that person is. It, it's, it's not like the biggest spoiler, but you do have to play a bit of the way into the game to see this character. So I, I, I'm going to count it. Okay. I'll try to cover up, uh, sexy Ganondorf. <laughs> no, don't tell them about female Ganondorf. <laughs> All right, so uh, Heather Gonzalez, I've actually heard some of her performance before, and she is a, the roles I've heard her play, she's been a very gruff character. Okay. It was really hard to find a role that sounded like Yukari. I inevitably settled on uh, her performance as, so, so this is going to be sound really, the one that gave me the most range of her speaking normally. Uh-huh was Minoto from Monster Hunter Rise. Okay. Because there's a, a whole thing oh, of like yeah. DLC clips where you can listen to her. And so I got to hear her just like saying lines normally. And when she's speaking normally, she sounds fine. I mean, like Yukari's not a... Yukari sounds like you really have to be typecasted for. Yeah. Like we know we know her for being abrasive, but like, it's not like she's always like bitchy all the time in her dialogue. Yeah. I was like Yukari can, is just kind of like a sort of normal girl voice, right? I, I I mean yeah it's like uh but you gotta you gotta get the really she, she she's one of those girls that like really blames with emotion like yeah. she's like she guilt trips people like you need to get that like aggressive Karen yeah, energy yeah, when, when you female speak. manipulator vibe and yeah. that that role up there uh Kaori uh -huh. I, I took a listen to her her lines and talentless Nana and while it's really minor she's a, like a little bit of a bully okay. And she really gets that, like, catty, like, mean girl energy yeah, in that yeah, role. She's so on, I, that, I on think, that bully GF energy. I, I think she'll be able to deliver a very powerful Stupe Ace defect. Okay. Yeah, I hope that's the most important thing. If I was the guy that was, like, uh, doing the, like, casting call or whatever, that would be the first thing I asked them to say is, like, all right, but you got to do a good Stupe Ace defective. <laughs> all right, uh, step up. Uh, Stupe Ace defect. Get out. <laughs> Yeah. No, that was Get out. terrible. You'll never work in this industry again. <laughs> Fire, fires up a shotgun. <laughs> I don't really know a lot of her, but I, I keep seeing them credit, like, the Pokemon Masters rocket grunts. Yeah. And it's like, I get it, that's a role they did, but that doesn't help me. I, I'm not going to be able to put together what they sound like from that. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with most of what she's done. Right. I think, I think, uh, I mean, really... Are, is there anything in particular we're looking for a Yukari? I think we kind of uh, hit the nail on the head, didn't not we? Not really, yeah. I, I think with, Yukari's like, not to kind of like demean the role or whatever, but I, I think Yukari is a character that can be handled by a lot of people, right? The, I think that what's important for Yukari is that she be able to shift her tone very well. Because Yukari, like, she goes through some pretty bad emotional moments. Yeah. She gets very accusatory, she gets very defensive, she's always antagonistic until she's kind of had her complete arc near the end of the game. So she needs to be able to sound like a calm, r rational person who just like flips their lid on a dime. I I, and I think we I think we hit it like she really needs to sound catty at times because yeah. she 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 picks fights like nobody oh, else for with sure, those yeah. girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it, like I, I'm trying to remember. Does, it, does she have a whole arc where she just assumes that Mitsuru is just a total bitch because yeah. she's rich or something? <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't really think there's any other performances that will really shake our world on this. Yeah. I have work to do. Preparations complete. Minoto, ready to go. This one's for you, Hinoa. The hunt is on. All right. All right. Let's see who's next. All right. You told me this fellow was uh, mysterious. 
Yes. Uh, so <laughs> Zeno Robinson is a very well-known voice actor, yeah. and I think he's a very good one too. He, uh, I know him best from playing Go at Pokemon Journeys, and he is a phenomenal voice actor. Has gotten like an actual tear out of me a few times. Uh, my the I feel like this ca this performance is either going to be like the best thing ever or a real missed opportunity if he if he's given poor direction. Okay. Because Zeno Robinson, you can click on, uh, keep scrolling down on his roles because you'll kind of see, he plays a few character types. Yeah. But they typically fall into two categories, which is the loud, energetic one, which you'll typically see him play in some of his, like, you know, kid kid show roles or with more, like, like younger characters. Yeah. And, like, kind of a suave, cool guy voice he'll play with, like, characters like Hawks or uh, or a more gruff voice, like with, uh, with Ginya. Uh-huh. The problem is, or the problem that I, I worry about, is that I've never heard him do those two performances at the same time. And because of that, that's what Junpei is. Junpei is someone who has really low speaking roles when he is, like, chill. But he loses his shit, and he gets pretty hyper. And if Zeno swings too far in both directions, it won't sound natural when that happens. So I think that... I think voice direction is going to be very key, but I do think if they if he does get good voice direction, Zeno is going to nail this because I think a character who swings so wildly between those is perfect for a character like Junpei who is putting on a facade at all times. Yeah, just kind of looking through his roles, I definitely see what you're, what you're talking about. Like he's Gamma too, for example. So that's kind of funny. Right. We have both of the Gammas uh, in this in this game. But yeah, it's it, I, I I there there's a few more uh, like coincidence like voice role lineups yeah. that i'm excited to go into but that was a fun one to notice for sure uh actually now that i think about it the fact that gamma one is uh is monado yeah and gamma two is junpei yeah it's kind of perfect whole... yeah oh dude it's the reunion oh man okay yeah this this has got just got a few more points in my book for sure I like I like Zeno. He typically does a good job, so I have I have faith that he'll do his best. Yeah, a couple of roles of his I immediately recognize. Like in Street Fighter Six, he's DJ. He's really good as DJ. He plays fucking Nana Na Najakoop in Bleach: The Thousand Year Blood War. I Hell have yeah. no idea who that <laughs> he's, is. He's not a very significant character. <laughs> I'm a little bothered by his design, if you could imagine. Explain in detail why. Why does he have like broken front row teeth? They're actually they're uh they they have like a keyboard pattern. Like he has teeth. They're just black. What? No, yeah, those I, are teeth. Now, do you mean keyboard like a piano, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, okay, okay. Let's <laughs> say I don't know many keyboards. No, he doesn't on, have like, he doesn't have better. fucking QWERTY on his teeth, dude. <laughs> He looks you dead in the eye and goes, "I'm a bit of a QWERTY boy," you know what they say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, uh, he's Gamma 2, like we said. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, he was Hawks in My Hero. Yeah. I listened to his performance as Ginya, and he uh -huh. does a pretty good gru a good gruff voice with that one. It was a little bit different from uh, the, the, the roles of, like, cool guy and, like, raspy young hero. Uh-huh. But it, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't in that Junpei range, so... But he's got, he's got, he he does have range for sure. Even even if he tends to uh, get typecasted into those like archetypes. Yeah. Yo, he was super alloy black luster. Man, I feel bad. I feel bad for him when that character gets uh like later like there's got the later monster hunter association yeah. stuff does. <laughs> Did you have you? Because they they do luster so dirty. They do. Are. All right, I think I think we got a good thing All here. All right. Hey hey hey! No one fighting allowed. Remember. I could just lose my temper if you make me enforce that rule. Get my drift. All right. Next up is uh, Mitsuru Kurijo. Or are we doing a... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's, let's do Don. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Don Bennett. Uh, All right. Now, I'm not very familiar with this voice actor. I don't think I am either. I'm not sure if, I'm, if I've heard her in anything. You can uh, take a scroll down and see. Yes. Hey, oh, she's Igis in Persona 3 Relook? <laughs> oh my god! Let's see, uh, she was Shez in Three Hopes. I, d I didn't play that one. Oh, yo, she was Luzamine? Oh, okay, you know what? I do remember her now. Yeah. And I uh, I remember something about... <laughs> so, remember how I mentioned the voice direction with Zeno Robinson? Mm-hmm. This is a th this is this actually this character this performance of Lizamine is what made me realize how important direction is. <laughs> okay. 
So, so in Pokemon Evolution, they adapt the Ultra Sun and Moon storyline. Yeah. And it tells Luzamine's story throughout uh, meeting uh, Necrozma. And when when she appears from the... I'm about to throw a bunch of terms at you, so just, just get ready. Sure. When she comes out of the Ultra Wormhole, uh, she tells Lily to stay back because what she found was not uh, what she thought it was. It was just an absolute monster. And the scene is supposed to be serious, but... It, it, in the original, it is delivered with the same cadence in both times. Just more of like kind of a shocked voice when she when she has the dramatic, it was a monster voice. Don Bennett gives this like just a, amazing performance where it's just like she like a, like a genuinely terrified scream of it was a monster, right? Uh-huh. It does not match the scene's pace and tone at all. And it's really jarring. So she's got the talent. She's got the skill. But if she's given poor direction, it, it can kind of create awkward pace scenes. Yeah. Now, this was 2021. 2022? What does that say? 2021. Okay, this was two years ago. You know, that's more time to, like, really practice to get more experience. I'm sure she, I'm sure she'll do fine. That's just, it's just funny that I, I have such a vivid memory of that exact thing, uh, performance. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else here. Oh, she was in Cookie Run oh, as... Cookie. Is she one of the sexy cookies? Why do you want her to be a sexy <laughs> cookie? Wait, what is a sexy cookie? Anyways, we're we're doing a video <laughs> here, man. Oh. I remember uh seeing that she was Marnie from uh Twilight Wings. Yeah. I feel like uh her performance as Marnie will be very indicative of her ability to play Igus because Marnie is a very deadpan character. Yeah. Uh, yo, she was Maggie Bird in Ace Attorney season two. Oh. Ain't I'm no so way. sorry to hear. I'm so sorry to hear that, Don. <laughs> I actually never watched the. Uh, despite being a big proponent of the English localization for Phoenix, right? I never watched the dub of that show. Yeah, I haven't Probably seen the that show anime, either. The anime is not very good. Yeah, I hey, know she was Yamada in Zombie Land Saga. Hey, I think we found our Koromaru voice actor. Yeah. Then. <laughs> did, did you watch Zombie Land Saga? Yeah. This, <laughs> this fucking does, character does. doesn't actually talk. She's like a like a literal zombie, and all she does she, is like. She, she she does say a few lines, but like her performance is so reserved. You literally could replace her with anyone. Like <laughs> it that, that's not a strike at her. That's just like the role doesn't tell me anything about her. Oh, okay. Now I know who I recognize this person from. She's uh, Kefla. She's Kale what? and Kefla in Dragon Ball. If I was more of a Dragon Ball guy, I might have realized that. Yeah. But, huh. I was like, I, I swear I had heard this name at some point, but yeah, she was Kale. Is it sad that I remember, I I, remember, I, I recognize Sister Lily from Black Clover <laughs> over Kefla? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I, well, she's in the first episode, that's why I recognize her. Okay. Bro, I tried to get into Black Clover so many times, that shit fucking sucks so bad. <laughs> I, I know you said you're, you're all about peace and all about, uh... Peace and like, love. And... Yeah, but, uh, fuck Black Clover. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fight you all in the McDonald's parking lot. I think I need my, my anime pass revoked. I, I'm not recognizing, like, almost any of these shows. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad she's got a lot of roles and a lot of performances, but, uh... I don't yeah. recognize it. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna see anything. Oh, okay. This is, this is where I'm not this far in the One Piece dub, so I've, yeah. I haven't heard any of these. Yeah, she's a smoothie. That's, cool. That's great. I like smoothie. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, All right. Like I said, <laughs> I think uh, give her episode of uh, Twilight Wings where she played Marnie a listen. Okay. That's probably going to be a good uh, decider if uh, if she sounds if she'll do good because Marnie's a very deadpan character. I guess will be a very robotic delivery for a while. Yeah. I mean, we've seen she can play very energetic characters, so I'm sure she can pivot into something more lively once I guess starts to emote more and become more of a person. Uh huh. So that'll that'll be good. Yeah. Calling me mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. What ugly behavior! All right, Alejandro Saab, Mr. Kagi Films. I, I'm very familiar with uh, with Alejandro Saab's works. I actually was followed, similar to Alex Leak with his YouTube channel. Uh, I was following uh, Kagi before he was a voice actor. Yeah, honestly, I more so know him from doing a lot of like Dragon Ball YouTube content back in the day before he kind of yep. made it in like the VA scene. He's a very popular voice actor now. Yeah. He really, like, you can't like shake a stick without finding five different roles that he's playing in the year. 
Yeah, like immediately I recognize he's Shattuck in uh, Gundam Witch for Mercury. Yeah. And I think that's the one thing that's kind of concerning is that like, Khaki has a lot of roles. His voice tends to stay the same for a lot of his performances. Mm -hmm. He definitely has some different levels to him. Like he's not just the same character all the time. Yeah. Like he never leaves that like cadence. So I, I have a, I can very, I can imagine what he'll sound like in my head better than other uh, actors. <laughs> Uh, hey, yo, he was Jed in Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin? When I was looking for uh, voices to listen to, for yeah. examples, I thought about Jed, but then I realized that Jed's very, like, passive and whiny. And that's probably <laughs> not going to... Yeah. It's not going to uh, really translate to Akihiko very well. Uh, the one that I found the best was there, uh, Kaigaku in Demon Slayer. Uh-huh. Uh, his performance is Kaigaku for the short period that it is. Uh, it sounds like how I think Akihiko will sound like spot on i i was a little nervous at first but i i think i think he'll play that role fine it, yeah. i i think i think a lot of my trepidation came less from him not being able to do the role and more me just being so used to liam o'brien's performances akihiko like to me that is the akihiko <laughs> and so it's hard for me to like get out of that mindset oh fuck he was sale from jojo's bizarre adventure Golden we got a lot of Oh, hey, have you noticed we're getting a lot of, like, pair-ups here? Yeah. Like, we had Zuchara in LA, we had Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Like, that's weird. Yeah, it's what all a playing. weird little world. Mm. <laughs> that's how they went for it. They just went for, I like these two, put them in the dub together. Yeah. Oh, he was Yuri in Three Houses. Yo, ain't no way, he was Treble in One Piece. I don't know what that sounds like, and I'm scared <laughs> yeah, to hear like, it. I mean, I don't know, you want to <laughs> see this guy talk? Like, I don't. I mean, honestly, it can't be any worse than what the, with what the how the sub did it. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you have you heard Treble's voice in the no. sub? He, uh, it's like, hey, Dolphy, Dostano, <laughs> hey, hey, Dolphy. Wait, you it's, sound exactly like a Japanese voice actor. What the fuck? It, it's insufferable. It haunts my dream. Sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat and I think of uh, of, of Dolphy's of Treble. Oh my god, who's Romero in Zombieland Saga? Another Zombieland Saga voice where it's that it's doesn't just, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was he was uh Shallot? Yeah. Actually this was like super fucking cool back in the day. Oh, like, oh yeah, no, because uh he always wanted to voice in Dragon Ball and he yeah. got to finally not only did he get to voice a character, he got to voice a Saiyan in uh yeah. in an exclusive content. That was mm -hmm. I remember him being very excited for that. Yeah. There sure is a lot of just like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, he was Kensuke Ida in the Ava rebuilds. Oh, you know, no, 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 you can't top, you can't top OG Kensuke. <laughs> you can't, you can't top. Genji, are you an Ava pilot? <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Pidge from the OG Voltron. <laughs> Did you ever watch Voltron? Like the old, no. old, old one, nah. dude. It's so, it's so cheesy. Uh, I think I want to do a watch, like not like a full series watch, but like a highlight clip of you sometime that okay. shit is like golden cheese but uh yeah i think that's I, I mean not much to say there i think that i think he'll do the role really well yeah like he's definitely got the kind of resume to back it like he's been in a ton of shit ultimately that's really what we're we're uh that's what we're looking out for is uh because because there's not we're not we are not audio engineers we are not voice acting experts we are casual consumers <laughs> So really, just knowing that they have a lot of experience means that we're sure that they can do that they can do a good job. But it's it's just it's it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like you said, is 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 it? Anyways, <laughs> continuing along. You gonna make me repeat myself? Leave my sight. You know why? The way you cry like a baby all day long. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? All right, <laughs> we got uh, All right. Clark for uh, Misuru. Okay. Hey, so, ain't no way she's Marissa in Street Fighter yeah, 6. Yeah, I, I knew you'd be excited to oh, see some far, of these. I love Marissa. So, I have a fun fact about Allegra Clark. Okay. Allegra Clark uh, plays Dorothea in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah. Do you know who play? Uh, and Dorothea is good friends with Elgard. Edelgard? Uh-huh. Do you know who plays Edelgard? Who? The original voice yeah. of Mitsuru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we have a fun little thing here of uh, the the old voice actor and the new voice actor having uh, another connection 
uh, via their previous roles. Yeah. Uh, so the one that I found for her when I was looking through things was uh, Dorothy and Shamir from Three Houses. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I'm concerned about is that the performances I saw, she did, similar to Zeno Robinson, she did, like, really gruff, like, like tough girl voices and really like like super quirky girl voices like Dorothea I didn't really hear anything in that range of like Mitsuru of being kind of like reserved and elegant yeah I think if there was maybe a role that would fit that it would be like the, the mother spider from Demon Slayer but I mean she didn't really have a lot of speaking lines I really couldn't put anything together from that yeah. oh she was boss in AI the Somnium Files did you even, like, look at that game at the GameStop rack? <laughs> um, I've actually played it, okay? I have a really? review of it on my channel, okay? Oh, sorry, I don't watch trash content. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, was, just... she was Artemis <laughs> in SMT5. Now I just feel bad. <laughs> See what... Oh, uh, ain't no oh. way she was Noelle and Burn the Witch. What the hell? I actually meant to watch that. How was that? It's pretty good. Oh, uh, she was Iori Fuyusaka in 13 Sentinels? I think, oh, I think, God. I think... I think we found your favorite of I, the of the lots so far. I might I might have a, a slight bit of bias towards this lady in particular. <laughs> Yo, she was baby Tanjiro. What? Oh my oh, gosh, she, she was, was Josuke's she was mom. Okay, oh, that's pretty Damn. good. See, but again, that look, actually that's the perfect example right there. Those yeah. two roles. This is what I'm talking about. Like, she typically gets typecasted as like the the tough like badass girl. Or like the really cutesy happy girl. I'm not seeing anything that like leads into Mitsuru's role, and that's a little concerning. It, I mean, it falls back into the thing of she's got plenty of roles. I'm sure they wouldn't just cast her for no reason. I just, I guess, I just wish I, I had found something with my short research. Yeah, I'm sure she'll do a good job. I feel like, oh yeah, no, uh, I, don't, I don't. Like some don't of the characters it, I've seen, like especially Boss, I feel like Boss's kind of like tone of voice would work pretty well for Mitsuru. Okay. Yeah, I'm willing to chalk that up to me just being bad at research yeah. than it is. Than like, it honestly, is, like, Mitsuru, I think, has a little bit more of that kind of, like, boss bitch energy than you're giving her credit for. That's that's fair. Uh, I guess I'm just so used to uh, her previous performances by uh, by Tara Plot. Yeah. Like, she, uh, like, Akigo, that was, like, perfect casting, and I just... That's just what I associate her mannerisms with. But, yeah, no, uh... I think, I think the, I think, I don't think we're assuming any, like, bad faith or, uh, takes on any of these voice actors. I think we're typically going in this with a positive outlook, because yeah. we, we looked over this a little bit beforehand. She plays a lot of baddies, though. I, oh, yeah, no, uh, I loved her as uh, Maki in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh-huh. That was my favorite character, purely on her performance. <laughs> Do you know why shogi pieces are pentagons? So that every shape is equal. It makes everything fair. Is that right? Maybe. I just came up with that right now. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. All right, I guess we could check out our next individual here. Okay, these are, right, are going to be interesting. This is where it gets fun. All yeah. Right. <laughs> this is Susie Young. Uh-huh. She's played such accredited roles as Fuka Yamagishi in Persona 3 Reload and... Gotcha game characters. All right, let's see. The the first voice role I recognize is her role as Mimi in the new Digimon Adventure reboot dub. Uh huh. I have not been able to listen to it because uh. uh so fun fact, Toei released the uh the Digimon Adventure dub exclusively on the Microsoft Store. Okay. You, you have to buy it in episode chunks of that are three ninety nine each. It would cost you. A hundred and seventy-five dollars to listen to the entire dub. Hundred seventy-five dollar Digimon satisfactory. Uh, well, no. See, it's funny you say that because uh, this I watched this show. Yeah, it's it's boring as sin. Okay. So yeah, if it was a good show, maybe I would justify that money. But no, no, that it needs to be on a on a, like a Hulu or a Netflix. It does not need to be like a a, a buy on the Microsoft Store show. <laughs> From what I understand, the reason they did it was because uh, th th there's a similar model to that in Japan. Uh -huh. So it was the easiest just to translate over. I think we can get an idea. I can at least get an idea if she's playing Mimi, what her what her voice type's going to be like. Yeah. She had one role uh, that I picked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, this we're actually in luck on this one. This one, uh, she actually has a, a role that has a recording. Okay. So we can actually listen to that and not have to fuck with the audio. <laughs> If you uh, scroll down, yeah. she played Ayamu. Uh, 
she played Makima in Chainsaw right, Man. She's that... Makima in Chainsaw Man. Hey, yeah, what? yeah, no, that's that means right, I think that, the... that's a role now. Hang on. Does does uh does Fuka have any moments where she gets scary? No. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Fuka's probably the least threatening life form in this all of Persona. Yeah, I, see, I I thought so. I thought maybe there was some like extra media I missed because I uh, have only done I've only played uh the original FES and then the answer. So I didn't know if maybe there was some role where she had like a Yukiko moment. But hearing that she was mocking, I was like, oh no, she can she can get scary. Yeah, bro, scary Fuka. Scary Fuka. Fuka. Hey yo, she was Mirashan in JoJo Stone Ocean. Oh, hey, there's actually a line clip. I haven't, uh, heard that role. Yeah. Click it, boy. All right. Try catching the ball now. Oh, you can't anymore, can you? This game of catch is over! You're dead, Jolene Kujo! Mary Lynn Manson will always come to collect what is owed! <laughs> Mary Lynn no Manson. Where they may be <laughs> is that, is that, oh. <laughs> I guess, okay, I guess yeah, they... I guess they changed it from Marilyn Manson to Mary Lynn Manson. <laughs> that is such a lazy change. I don't even know why you did it at that point. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so, honestly, you know who that sounded more like? Uh, the, the, the bully that picks on uh, yeah, Fuka. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Ayumu, the one down there, that's the one that I had, uh, said, this sounds like Fuka. Okay. Truth is... I love them! I love super girly and pink outfits. Me too. The cuter they are, the better. <laughs> and I still want to wear them. I need to be honest with myself. So please, please watch me. I'll show you! I'm going to become one. A school idol. Yeah, I, I think I think yeah. that alone right there sells it that this will yeah, be. Yeah, that sounds about go. right, yeah. Ain't no way she was Yuffie in Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake Integrade. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh, she was the, oh, she was the, uh, macrophage in Cells at Work. Uh, do you remember those? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, did you not watch Cells at Work? No, I have a lot. Uh, look, look, look at the, look, look at this C rank science student. <laughs> so C Cells at Work was an anime that, uh, taught you about how the body functions by making everyone hot yeah. anime characters. And the, uh, the macrophages, they are, uh, aggressive cells that, uh, eat, uh, bacteria. And so they represent them in the show as uh, dummy mommies with uh, oh, meat sweet. cleavers that uh, chase down bacteria and kill them. That's so cool. That is so hot. I mean, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's about where uh, my knowledge kind of ends. I, I'm noticing a lot of their, a lot of these people, like they get their their start in Smite. Uh, I think it's more that, okay, so it's based on when it released and not necessarily oh, when the role happened. Yeah. Right, I forgot. Since, yeah, DTBA since Spike came that. out. Yeah, that's just how Okay. It, yeah. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think while we didn't recognize a lot of the roles that uh, she played, I mean, we heard, we literally heard a performance, and that one was, like, spot on to what yeah. we, I, at least that's what I think Fuka should sound like. Very, very meek, very reserved. I think, I think spot on. I mean, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I recognize a lot more of her like roles than I was kind of expecting to. So that's cool. All right. Kanamata, right. voiced by Justine Lee. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. She, uh, she's a she's a very new voice actor. Yeah, that seems like one of her first like this. I guess is her first character that has a voice or not a voice like a name yeah so i took i took a look uh she has a twitter okay she played lilium and shadowverse uh and sumire in a game called path to nowhere okay. but a lot a lot of her performances have been in games so behind the voice actor probably doesn't grab a lot of those smaller game uh releases yeah but uh i i heard her her performance as the president in nagatoro okay very very Honestly, you could she could get Mitsuru with that performance. Uh -huh. So I'm not really hearing anything in related. Not really sure what to think. Honestly, there's not really enough for me to go on. So yeah, this just... it's kind of an unknown, honestly. But I guess to be fair, like Ken was the one that if, if I had to be like brutally honest about the old P3 cast, <laughs> Ken was the one at times that really felt like they didn't really know how to direct him. Uh huh. His, some of his lines were a bit rough, and so I've got an open mind when it comes to hearing Ken. I liked Ken in uh, later stuff like Ultimax, so I, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Really? Okay, uh, Justin Lee, uh, if you want, uh, hit a, hit hit us up and on the, in the comments and uh, give us your best My Mom Is Dead. A theme? No. 
You need love. Chase your muse. Pursue that which ignites you. After her! Alright, let's see. So we have... <laughs> Alright, this is another mystery individual. Yeah, it's just, uh, just a sulk. Sl I'm Slocum. scared to say this, actually. <laughs> I was fine saying it with you before the camera was on, but I don't know if it's Slocum or Slocum. It's Slocum. It's Slocum. S L O. Slocum. Okay. Slocum is the next evolution of Slowbro, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see what Slocum looks like. He's a, yeah, he's a Paldean form. But uh, not a lot of roles here, and the one role we do have is so far and away from Shinji. I don't yeah. think it would do us any good to listen. So. For Justine and Justice, we're just going to say, we're happy to have you here, yeah. give it your best, and we'll be happy to see what your performance brings to the table. But yeah, as far there's, as... There's really just no precedent for... We have nothing to judge it on. All right. All right. And uh, that's everyone that we have so far. Yeah, it seems like a good cast. Now that I'm, I've like kind of gone through and seen what they've done, I think I'm a little bit more sort of confident overall, right? Because I recognize I think... a lot of stuff that these guys have done. I think that... I recommend that everybody do that. Like, really, like, take a deep dive. Like, if you're ever unsure about a voice actor taking over a character, like, go in and, like, check it out, because you might be surprised. If, if maybe you only know them from a handful of roles, and they have way more, Kate like, performance options than you realize. Yeah. I I don't feel unsure about any... I, literally, the only ones I feel unsure about are the ones that don't are so new to the game, it's not even fair for me to judge them. Because they haven't had a chance to actually prove how good or bad they are. Yeah. And, like, I'd also say it's, like, it's good that these guys are getting these kind of, like, sort of breakout roles, right? Because, like, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, no. Like, uh, that's one thing I really appreciate is that Atlas is willing to hand out these roles. Like, like they could hand these. There are so many social links, like, in this game that could that you could hand out these, like, like uh, lesser known voice actors to. These oh, yeah. are reoccurring characters with multiple voice lines. You have to pay them a good amount. So to to bite the bullet and hire them is very cool because it also means, like you said, they're getting more exposure, which exposure, which is going to help them later down the line. I think out of all of these, the ones I'm the most excited for, yeah, would be uh, Susie as a uh, Fuka. Uh huh. Uh, probably I, I'm really excited to see uh Zeno as uh Jun as uh, Junpei. Yeah, he's gonna be interesting. And uh, Alex Lee as um. Minato. I'm not calling him Makoto. I'm not no, you better. Him you, Makoto. If you're on my channel, you gotta call this man Makoto. I got... Oh, <laughs> it's just, okay. It ain't an option. <laughs> but why, why did you put a gun to my head? It's, it's an evoker. Chill, man. It's, it's, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just pulling out your persona. <laughs> Alright, cool. What about what about you? Who are you Who are you the most excited for from yeah, this list? Uh, I'd say I'm looking forward probably to like a lot of the girls the most. Like Now that I'm more sort of familiar with them, like I think Allegra as Mitsuru is going to be pretty interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Susie does with Fuka. Alright, cool. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to go get shot repeatedly. Alright. Yeah, let me, uh, let me deal with him. What a menacing way to end a video. <laughs> <laughs>